sealed in a cave for tens of thousands of years, long before modern humans, us Homo sapiens, arrived in France, Neanderthals were engraving intricate lines and dots on a cave wall. As time goes by, we learn more and more from our cousins in the evolutionary timeline. And as it turns out, they're not so different from us as we once thought. My name is Kaylee, and in this video I'm going to tell you all about the latest discovery made in France of the oldest Neanderthal cave art found until now. The La Roche-Cotard cave, where these engravings have been discovered, is located in the midwest of France, in the Touraine region near the Loire River. So this cave was first discovered all the way back in 1846, a really, really long time ago, when quarries were operated in the area during the construction of a railroad line. Back in 1912, the first excavations begun. Many prehistoric stone tools were found, as well as cut-marked and charred bones of bison, horses, and deer. These finds revealed to the archaeologists at the time that Paleolithic hunters had frequented the site thousands of years before. So back in the 1970s, the researchers first noticed the engravings on the cave wall, but it wasn't until 2016 when a new team of researchers looked into the finger tracings that they were taken seriously. So this new team analyzed, plotted, and 3D modeled the intricate markings and compared them with other wall markings of all types to confirm that they are indeed organized and intentional products of human hands. Yes, people, Neanderthals were a human species. A different human species than us, but still human. So the amount of comments that I get from people telling me that I'm a liar for calling Neanderthals human or calling them a different species is honestly astounding. I wish that they would just take an Anthropology 101 class. But back to the information. The team then dated deep sediment layers that had buried the cave's opening to reveal that it was sealed up with the engravings inside for at least 57,000 years at the youngest and 75,000 years at the oldest. As you can imagine, this was long before Homo sapiens arrived in Europe and in this particular area. But this is not all the proof that they have that Neanderthals were the ones creating these engravings. The stone tools that they found in the cave in earlier excavations are distinctly Neanderthal stone tools from the Musterian culture. The engravings the Neanderthals created were produced with thought and not in a hurry. This had everything to do with the soft chalk walls of the cave. The designs discovered were made by human hands that worked the soft chalk walls, material known as tufo, which is made from fine quartz grains and ancient mollusk shell fragments. The rock is permeable and covered with a fragile sandy clay film, so when a finger comes into contact with this film, a trace is left in the shape of an impact and when the tip of the finger moves, it leaves an elongated trace. So the team that analyzed these engravings reproduced this method in a nearby cave that's made from the same type of rock. They marked the walls using tools of bone, wood, antler and stone, as well as their fingers, which produced engravings very similar to those found here at the La Roche-Cotard cave. Of course, the engravings are impossible to interpret because they were made by a human species that have long since disappeared. It's not like we can ask them why they made this. I mean, unless you got a time machine, someone really needs to fix me that flux capacitor. And they aren't for us to interpret either, as we do not have the keys of understanding their meanings or their possible diverse and multiple functions. We don't know why Neanderthals did what they did and how they thought and how they perceived the world. The stone tools discovered at the cave are from the Mysterian stone tool technology that are typically associated with Neanderthals. The Loire River nearby has flooded the cave numerous times during the Paleolithic and eventually helped carve parts out of it. Eventually the flood deposited thick sediments completely sealed off the cave at least 57,000 years ago, or a lot earlier at 75,000 years ago. 
Remaining evidence of this shows how layers of sediment were put down over many years, which would have completely covered the slope and cave entrance to a depth of more than 30 feet. This covering remained in place until 1846, when material was extracted for the railroad embankment, which in turn exposed the cave entrance. Yay railroads, I guess. So the sediments above and around the cave entrance and part of the layers that covered it before the excavations in 1846 were dated by using optically stimulated luminescence dating, which can determine how long it has been since grains of sediment like quartz were exposed to daylight. The researchers collected 50 sediment samples and concluded that the cave was sealed off at least 57,000 years ago. That's long before modern humans lived in this part of France, but at the oldest it could have been sealed off completely around 75,000 years ago. The paper that was released on June 21st presents a convincing case that the evidence uncovered in the excavations in the past of stone tools, animal bones and engravings on the walls were the product of Neanderthals. There is no evidence of Homo sapiens, us modern humans, found in the cave as the cave was sealed off long before they arrived in the area. Therefore, the cave was inaccessible to them. We know that species in the Homo genus long before us began expressing themselves visually a very long time ago. Like for instance, Homo erectus has carved a zigzag pattern into a shell more than half a million years ago. And numerous hand and footprints were left by children from one of the Homo species around 200,000 years ago on the Tibetan plateau. Neanderthals are also attributed to the oldest cave paintings in Europe, found in three separate caves in Spain dating back to 65,000 years ago, also long before Homo sapiens frequented the area. These cave paintings may not be the oldest figurative pieces of artwork made by ancient humans, but that doesn't mean that the Neanderthal creations should be regarded as the products of simpler minds or thought processes. So, what do you think of this latest discovery from France? Do you perceive Neanderthals as less intelligent and capable than Homo sapiens, or do you perceive them as equal to us in that regard? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed watching then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like to see more of these kind of videos and click that bell icon if you want to be notified whenever I upload. If you haven't seen my previous videos yet then click the card in the upper right corner or click one of the links in the description down below or click a video in the end card. Whatever floats your boat. I would like to say a massive thank you to my patrons and my channel members thank you so much for supporting me it really truly means the world to me and with that said this is the end of the video and i'll see you in the next one bye